On 15 August 2018, CBI assisted Frederick PD in a missing persons case, Agent Galbraith interviewed Karen, friend and co-worker of Shannon Watts that also takes her children to Primrose Preschool. There was information that Karen may have information about a call place to the preschool of Bella and Celeste Watts by Chris Watts on the morning of 13 August 2018. On 15 August 2018 at 10.28 a.m., I spoke with Karen by phone. Karen reported that she was in Arizona for the conference over the weekend with Shannon Watts. Karen took an earlier flight home than Shannon and Nicole Atkinson. When Karen parted from Shannon, Shannon told her that she would see her tomorrow, 13 August 2018. This was because Karen drops her children at Primrose, as Shannon does and planned to. Shannon was looking forward to the kids going to school, because she had not been feeling well, and was looking forward to getting them back in school and in a routine. Karen noted that Bella Watts was not there when she dropped off her children. Karen heard from Nicole Atkinson in regard to no one hearing from Shannon or knowing where she was. Nothing made sense to Karen, with all of Shannon's stuff being there. Nicole had told Karen that Chris Watts said that Shannon was at a playdate with the kids at a friend's. Nicole told Karen that Chris was telling her to get away from the house, because she was setting off an alarm when she was there trying to contact Shannon. To Karen it seemed like Chris left the house as it was unplanned to return and deal with Shannon's stuff later. Karen said that from what she was hearing, no one knew when the girls were actually last seen. Shannon did not get to Skype them over the weekend and Karen did not think that Shannon talked with them over the weekend either because it upsets them when they talk on the phone to her when she is out of town. Karen was not aware of any marital problems between Shannon and Chris until she learned from Cassie, Cassandra Rosenberg, when she called looking for Shannon. Karen told me that Shannon seemed off all weekend in Arizona. Cassie, Nicole and Shannon shared a room. Shannon had confided in them. Karen thought it was weird that Shannon had gone to North Carolina for six weeks as Karen thought that was a long time. Shannon said it was to see family and to build her business. Shannon never said anything about Chris. There were no red flags to Karen. She believed Chris was quiet, good with the kids and there was no anger ever expressed. Karen said that Shannon got pregnant because Chris wanted another baby. Bella was an easy baby and Celeste was a handful. Shannon said she would not have a third baby, but Chris wanted a boy and Shannon got pregnant. Shannon was nervous, but became excited. She seemed happy when she found out she was having a boy. Shannon was then quiet over the weekend in Arizona. Karen said that it surprises her that Chris told her he wanted to separate the night she returned from the trip. The director of Primrose asked Karen if she knew the Watts was selling their house. The only thing that Karen knew was that Shannon mentioned that Chris had an inside heads up, that an oil and gas site was coming across from their house, and it would drop their property value. There was no plan in place to actually move or sell. There was nothing impending, but they did not actually finish the conversation on 12 August 2018 in Arizona. Karen saw Shannon in the hotel lobby in Arizona on 12 August and Shannon told her that she would see her tomorrow on 13 August. It was clear that the girls were scheduled to attend Primrose all week. It is the last week that Karen's girls will be there, and Bella and Celeste had been gone for six weeks. Karen's kids were anxious to get to see Bella and Celeste this week. Karen knew that Shannon and Chris had plans to go to Aspen together the weekend of the 18th of August 2018. Amanda Thayer was going to watch Bella and Celeste. It was determined that Karen did not possess first-hand information about the call Chris placed to the preschool. She learned of the call from other parents, and then called the director to confirm that Chris had called to report the kids would not be there and they were selling their house, interview concluded at 10.50am.